Ming here. There was a question regarding the type of voltage that the black magic takes, specifically in regard to uh, coming off of the Andesine monitor. The Andesine monitor can have a 12 volt in, and we have a 8 volt out, so DC output is 8. Now people were wondering if that was enough to power the black magic. Under your normal battery load, so when I pop in one of the standard uh, batteries here, oops, can't do it backwards. When I pop in one of the standard batteries, you'll be able to look up here and you'll tap that and you'll see that we're running at, what is it, 7.1? Get my spectacles on here. So we're looking at 7.0 volts. And it's running fine, that's, that's what this does. So the, um, that's the camera's job, is to <laughs> be able to handle that without problem. And for clarification, so that we can see the screen better, I'll turn that off. So when we turn this off, we pull out the battery. And we run it with the Andesine power. This is basically the standard power um, plug that you're going to get with the uh, Blackmagic camera. They have uh, a couple of different power outlets that you can plug right into your wall socket. We've got a plus 12 volt is what it says there. But that's a maximum rating. That doesn't mean that it's the normal operating range for it. So when I get this in here, <laughs> there we go. Generally, we're looking at anywhere from um, about 9, 10, 11, depending on the power pack that you use, uh, to this. So right now, the battery is empty, as you can see. That's, that's out of there. And it is really directly just running off of the uh, MPF battery, the 950, out from the DC out 8 volt and right into the Black Magic, which is now running at a higher 7.5. 7 7.3, it just dropped down. <laughs> but the other one was running at a 7.0. Uh, this will continue to run uh, at that. When we start worrying about the drop on that is around uh, 6.3, something along those lines, then we'll start uh, having a um, possibility of it dropping to 6.0 and whatnot and it, it shutting off. This 7 and so forth is fine. This, this will handle this. This battery was not fully charged, so that's why anything coming out here, which would be an 8 volt, going in here, that's at 7.3, so uh, that gives you an indication of what this is actually taking. Now I'm going to pull in, so, and I don't even have to have this turned on. This monitor can just be turned off, and it's a fairly cheap monitor. And you plug this in and run it to power, and you're going to have this going for a good couple hours, I mean, depending on the batteries. So let me switch out to another type of battery. So now we're going to run this. You can see this one has, its rating is DC out 12 volt. Okay. And we have a uh, DC voltage range is 5.8 to 8.4. Okay. And these are great little packs. So I'll put a link in the description for it. And basically uh, it comes with a little piece that you can hook on there and it'll run into this mount and you can keep it on there. But what I'm gonna do is just pull this out off of the Andesine monitor. And I'm gonna put it into here instead. And we're going to pull this off and run the NPF battery directly into that. So again, this has a lot of different ways that you can mount it, including screwing it right to the frame in a lot of different positions. Uh, that's why I love this as far as the power pack. Uh, but you'll see what we deliver now off of this pack. So right here, this one's actually outputting 11.8. So you'll see the camera can handle this range, and that's the really cool thing about the Blackmagic cameras. And this particular one puts out a higher output, which is 
different than this one. The antecedent monitor puts out, you know, about 8 volt or slightly less, but it's enough to still run the camera, the Blackmagic camera, well. I, I haven't had problems hooking up that monitor and running it uh, that route. And for serious shoots and when I really need to, to have some um, portable power where I don't need the monitor, I just slap this on and I'll put on, I can switch out those batteries uh, quickly and if I need to I streamline it with one of these smaller thinner batteries. So we're gonna pop this off for a second, pull this out, run in one of the MPF, I think we're looking at a 550. So then we'll pull up a 550. So it's streamlined, smaller case, smaller weight load. So depending on what you need for your, and we're, we're still looking at 11.9 volts. And the camera is handling it. The, it it's, that's the range. So when people see that that's the particular range that we have, uh, and it's running at 12 volt right now. Okay, so we're gonna let it focus in on that. There we go. So that, is running nice and clean, 11 to 12 volts. You'll see that shift slightly depending on what is going on in the viewfinder, how much the internals are actually working on this. So that's, that's the one thing that people forget. There are a lot of different things that account for your um, power usage. And uh, some of those are how much draw the actual lens will have on it for when it needs to, when you press the button for the manual focus and that sort of thing. Or if you've got the uh, exposure and you're trying to work that uh, with auto exposure. Uh, or if you have um, the codec, there's different codecs. You have a consistent data rate uh, throughput or you have a variable throughput, which is with the Q settings. And that means that under certain types of uh, movement and whatever happens to be moving within the frame, you will get less compression, uh, but you're going to um, uh, have more throughput. So what's going on in the internal is you're going to have a higher data rate being pumped to the card and that sort of thing. So all of that uses a lot of energy. And uh, so this has this variable range. Once you get about 6.4 volts, then, then I have to start being concerned about, okay, it's, we're running low on power and we need to start working towards that. But, but it, will, it will definitely, as you saw, definitely work with the um, 8 volt out of the antecedent monitor. And again, that's cheap. I'll put all the, the information in the description below. If you have any other questions, which, and this was a good question because a lot of people don't, didn't have that information. Thank you for the comment. So I do have people commenting on this and this is how I can help you. You just let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Just let me, give me that uh, comments in the section below. And please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.